Hello. Welcome to EasyVB. Tutorial 6. In this tutorial we will look at the button control, or object, and the click event. To start with we will use our application developed in tutorial 1, which was to drag a picture box object. Watch tutorial 1 again as a reminder, or watch it if you have not previously watched it. Ok. To start with run the application. Drag the blue picture box by clicking on it with the left mouse button and holding the button down. Drag the picture box a few times quickly. You may notice some edge images of the picture box get left behind sometimes. This may be irritating and a problem for your application, so, before moving on to explain the button control and click event, we will show you how to solve this problem. The solution is quite simple. Go to the end of the mouse move sub and add a new line. Type in validate, run the application again. It can be observed that no traces of the blue picture box are left behind now when we drag it. This is because the function invalidate causes the form to be repainted every time the mouse move event is in action. Close the application now and go to form 1 design. Click on the form and go to the toolbox. Find and select the button control and place a button on the form. Note that Visual Basic automatically names the button as button 1. Not only that, but the button also has button 1 text automatically written onto it. We will go ahead to change the button's name and text. It is a good practice for efficient code writing to abbreviate button names with the prefix btn. So, click on button 1. Go to the properties menu. Change the button's name to btn red. Then change the button's text to change to red. Ok, that looks fine. We will now create a click event for BTN Red. We can do this in one of two ways. We can go to the events handler, click on the lightning icon, and scroll to the click event, then double click that. However, since the click event is a commonly used event, it is a default, which can alternatively, and more conveniently, be created by simply double clicking the object, in this case the button. Either method will create the click event sub for btn red. Within the click event sub we will write some code. Write pb blue dot back color equals color dot red. Now run the application, click the button, and what happens? Yes, the picture box color changes from blue to red. That was a very simple example to demonstrate how to use a button control and the click event. Now let's add some more buttons for more functionality. Close the application and knock out the click event sub to comment. Add two more buttons to the form by copying and pasting btn red. Change the names of the new buttons to BTN Blue and BTN Green. Change also the button texts to change to blue and change to green. Select all three buttons. Go to the event handler and select the click event by double clicking it. It can be observed that this action creates a click event sub that handles all three buttons. Change the name of the sub to color change. Write the code for the sub. If sender is btn blue then pb blue dot back color equals color dot blue. Repeat this code for BTN red and BTN green.
Run the application, click the three buttons. We can observe that the picture box color changes as expected. Note that we can also still drag the picture box around. We have more than one event sub in this application, a drag event and a click event, but the events are executed only when there is a call for the event by appropriate action on the object, mouse move, mouse click, whatever. To explain further, the written code does not execute sequentially line by line, but only when a particular section of code, the sub, is called by the event acted on an object. This illustrates the main difference or advancement of object-oriented programming over earlier computer programming languages such as ordinary basic. Okay, in tutorial 6 we have learned about another control, the button, and about another event, the click event. In the next tutorial we will learn more about properties of buttons. Thanks for watching. We hope this tutorial was useful. If it helped you, please like, share, and subscribe.